Do you know if a good key binding guide for someone looking to play Palas? To be honest, like, you don't really need a guide, right? It's just the mindset of, like, what spells do you use a lot? What spells do you need to use fast? What spells do you not use quite as much? There's, there's like, there's three tiers, I guess. Maybe four, but generally it's like, spells that you use a lot slash fast is like the tier one, right? S tier. In terms of binding. So this is going to be like your fucking R, your F, you know, one, two, three, four. Depending on if you run with QWE or ASD, Q and E as well. Uh, if not, it'll be A and D. This is like your S tiers, right? Next is going to be just spells that you don't have to use as fast, but just generally that you use a lot. And this, to be honest, this, these kind of go into the same binds as the initial one, just because you want to be comfortable when you're playing. And then the next tier is going to be spells that you rarely use, but that you need to use fast, right? And so this is going to be stuff like MD, uh, Pain Suppression, Unused Trinket, stuff like this, right? Racial. So generally you want these on like your mid-tier binds. So it's either going to be like a non-modifier but not as close, or it's going to be on a modifier that's relatively close. Um, and then the lowest tier is obviously stuff that you don't really need to use fast, but you don't use that often either. And this is going to be the stuff that's on like more, um, more difficult to press modifiers. Uh, so this is for priests. You're going to be doing shit like mind super mind vision. This is relatively unimportant, right? Your buffs doesn't need to be on anything amazing. Um, Res as well doesn't need to be on anything amazing. Shackle, stuff like that, right? That's your last tier. Um, and and it doesn't have to be on these exact binds, but you you want to try and go in with this mindset of like thinking about your spells. Maybe trying to group your spells together in like Notepad or Excel or something. Um, regardless of what class you're on, and you you want to think about you know. Do I need this on focus? Do I need this on one, two, three? Uh, obviously, one, two, three binds is where it gets a little bit more complicated. Um, you know, dispel arena one, dispel arena two, dispel arena three, or dispel party one, dispel party two. Um, and maybe a modifier to do these abilities on yourself, right? That's where it starts getting more complicated. So you want to try and build your your bindings from that initial priority system and then expand it into the more advanced cases, and then try and make the uh, the more advanced cases intuitive steps uh, from your initial stuff, right? Right. So, like, uh, like dispel self is on shift F for me, right? Dispel is on F. So generally, my stuff that's on myself is shift, right? So some binds. I don't have in, the, in this case. It's not possible to do everything perfectly, but as as many as I can, I have it on shift for myself. Like pen, uh, pain suppression self, uh, shift G, right? Dispel self, shift F. Um, things like desperate prayer is is on shift four, right? So shift is a lot of uh, self stuff in that regard, uh, and the reason for this is my trinket is on shift R. Um, and so it's, it's really easy to go for sh from Shift R to Shift any of those uh, those other spells while still holding Shift. Right, I don't have to do some crazy like Shift R to trinket and then like Control fucking Q or something, right? To to dispel or to to pain suppression or whatever. It's like it's a very close binding, and it will follow naturally if the situation arises where I need to actually do that. Do you use 6, Y, H, and M? Um, M I don't. N I don't. It kind of goes down from 6 down to B. For like any of my common stuff. 6 is like the line. That's as far as I go. Um, with the exception of like J, I would say. H is included in that 
that line down, right? 6YHB. And then the exception is J, which is target teammate's pet, which is something that I would like to change, but I'm not sure what to change it to. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my limit, just because of the size of my hand. But obviously everyone is a bit different, so your bindings are going to look different. But yeah, if you're looking to, to build a binding system from scratch, that's the logic I would suggest using. And, and definitely writing down your di your different abilities in Excel, trying to group them into priority uh, or, or tiers, and then assigning bindings to them. Make sure you write down all of your different bindings that you're able to actually use, you're comfortable using, whether that be an alt binding. I'm not a big fan of alt, but you can use shift, control, whatever. And then you can kind of match them, right? Uh, the other thing I would suggest or say keep in mind is that there are some things that are off-global. So targeting is off-global. Uh, like there are abilities that are off-global as well. So like living ice crystals for me, like power infusion, inner focus, um, wand to a degree, weapon swaps. And you either want these these uh, these off-global things on, depending on how fast you need to use them, you want them either on the mouse or you want them on a button that's really close to your natural hand position. So for me, targeting arena 1 to 3, F1, F2, F3. It's really close to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is where all my natural uh, rotational abilities are. So I can easily rotate and switch around enemy targets while just playing my normal game. And it's not a big stretch for me to go, and so I can easily do it on global. And it doesn't cause me all these extra hand movements that is going to make your hand tired, right? Uh, because they're in relatively the same space. Now, the other thing I would say is you can also put abilities that you need to use quickly, but less often potentially, you can put them on the mouse. Because now you're using two hands, so it doesn't matter that it's off global. It's not going to slow your hand down, or using something that's on global is not going to slow you down uh, for the other, the other binding. Uh, hold tight, boys. Um, but yeah, so that's like sort of the TLDR, at least on my mindset when doing keybinds. Um, like I said, it's quite, it's quite a personal thing. Like I wouldn't suggest just blindly copying someone else because you'll find that some of the bindings are a bit, like they don't feel good for you. Maybe your hands are bigger, smaller, whatever. Uh, or you're using a different keyboard. So like my keyboard, with the F keys are directly above one, two, three. I bought it specifically for this, right? Rather than like there being a gap and it further away. They're literally directly above no gap. Um, so the F keys on a normal keyboard are probably less good, essentially, than compared to this keyboard. I'm using a Vortex Tab 75, by the way, uh, if anyone's interested. But yeah, so what will happen, right, is that you'll you'll copy someone's bindings and then you'll find that there's some stuff that's not comfortable. So you'll change that stuff, but then the whole thing kind of unravels, right? The bindings kind of work together. And when you start changing one thing, a lot of the other stuff doesn't make as much sense anymore. And there's, it's just not as good anymore. And you find that you're under, like you get a lot of uncomfortable binds and combos and situations and stuff like that. Like combos is another thing, right? There's like groups of spells that you often will cast in a row or together or whatever. So you want that to be like sort of natural in terms of like the progression of where your hand is and goes. You don't want to be going from one side to the other or from like one shitty bind to like a good one, completely different like hand position or whatever. So if yeah, if you go and copy someone's binds and you find that you don't like something and you change that, then everything else kind of doesn't make as much sense anymore. If it's a good like binding system, I guess. At least. So I would say trying to make your own from scratch you're gonna it's always gonna be better because you're gonna remember it better for one it certainly doesn't help that I haven't played in so long I'm out of touch with the characters and their spell importance um, <clears throat> yeah that definitely makes it a bit more tricky but I would say that's the kind of thing that you can gain from streams you can gain the spell importance from streams and looking at other people's bindings Yo. Yo! Oh, oh, yeah, 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 y